Okay. So look at these numbers, y'all. Isn't this pretty awesome? Here we are in week six and we're not going to, no. this, is, this is pretty, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised, frankly, you know. Right. So last week we had 19, the week before we had 25. So 13 is pretty sweet. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised too, Christine. I think every week I always kind of take it. All right, let's see what happens. And I, it's really exciting to see that we have 13 in active isolation right now. And yeah. Right. And yeah. even doing the counting, a few of those were counted in the 19 last week. This right. The recovered mm -hmm. numbers gone. So mm -hmm. um, that's actually a pretty awesome uh, number. And it really just goes to show that our students are actually doing the thing. I mean, they're wearing masks, they're keeping distance. I know they're not perfect. I know we wish they all went home and locked down and, you know, never interacted with anybody, although that's really not what college is about. But it no. seems like they're you know, I, I guess some of the things I've been thinking about this are, are when I look at what's going on all around the nation, all of these large and small, all different kinds of institutions opening and then having horrible experiences closing down in two weeks or a month or whatever. I just thought, oh, it's just a matter of time before it happens to us. But I'm just wondering what makes, what do you think makes us different? Because it kind of looks like we're not following that trajectory and I'm not unhappy about this. <laughs> I mean, I think personally a big thing is our behaviors. I think our students are very concerned. I just anecdotally, I talk to a lot of students who are choosing to self-quarantine, who are choosing to, um, like, who are being very proactive about their behaviors, who are not going out and partying, who are choosing to maybe stay home and invite a friend over. So I think they're making really good decisions, and I'm really proud of um, the, the things that they're doing. Well, at the risk of being sort of a cheerleader about this, we do know that the nature of Truman is that we have not got the same kind of student body that Mizzou or Iowa State or whatever have. I mean, dare I say, we have people who are doing maybe more inclined to do critical thinking and say like, oh, maybe going to a downtown dance hall, this is not the right time for that, maybe. Yeah, I would agree. I think they're just... I think they're very different than the other college students that exist. And so I think that's what makes us unique. Smarter. They're smarter. <laughs> yes, <laughs> for sure. Yes. But I think we as faculty need to all give them shout outs for sure. And I've been trying to give them shout outs this week, but definitely I think as a university, we should be doing that. Right. So one last thing I wanted to talk about in this video is that R value that people talk about or the RT, they call it sometime. And you know, if you look at ours for Adair County, you know, our number is um, less hey, than What is an R? So, yeah, so let me talk about that. But first, I mean, the idea of R is that the larger the R number, the more the disease is spreading. So um, to think about it as, it as we were in a math class, the idea is we know that exponential growth is the blue line, and that's bad, right? Exponential growth is how epidemics spread uncontrollably. And what we've been hoping to see is some leveling off of this, what we call a logistic curve instead. And if you get R to be one, then that's a sign that your line, like this red line, has become flat once it's over here. If your R is greater than one, then you're still growing. So you're in some version of the blue line. If your R is less than one, that's even better because that means your numbers are actually shrinking. And for us, that's literally what we have right now. And again, I mean, we wish the number was zero, but 0.74 is among the best in Missouri. Of course, Missouri isn't the best of states, but you know, um, Vermont, which is the best state right now, their R value is 0.8. So we're on par with the state that's doing the best job of this. And of course, states are different than towns and counties. But the idea that Adair County is, you know, that big bump that we had with the meat plants earlier in the summer that was in late May. Um, you know, and even this idea of, you know, when the students came back, there was going to be this big bump. Well, the bump from the students is this one. Right, so if you're saying, oh my gosh, there's a giant bump and it's all the students' faults, well, that's just not true because all of these bumps back here were in July and June when the students weren't anywhere to be found. And then since then, we've gone downhill. So I think the R value is super promising. And again, you know, we gotta work to keep it down, but um, this is, a, you know, the best news that I think when we thought about making these videos, I guess I didn't think we were gonna be recording good news at quite this frequency, which, again, is a great problem to have. I'll, I'll take it every time, I guess. So cool. All right. Yeah.